Hello everybody, we're here for stage 4 is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. stage 4 um, and you can see we're, uh, we're back in the mainland of the island and uh, for me it's getting exciting, we're getting closer and closer to Belgium we're actually passing a little bit of Belgium today I think 3 or 4 kilometers so uh, yeah, really looking forward to it Okay, well, this is starting to get bloody stupid now <laughs> Well, yeah, I was um, I did see get sticker on my helmet but I sort of stuck it on here for keep my number safe so I could use it for tomorrow. But you just give it all up to me. I'll show you what it's all about. There's your uh, depression now that we've left the train, <laughs> mate. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, just, I just couldn't sleep last night. Really? You know, uh, yeah, it really is a shame. And, uh, How do you deal with it? Uh, bringing over PlayStation or something? No, no, I'm not. Yeah, I should have done now, though, thinking about it. Especially because England are at the World Cup. I know, I need to, you know. <laughs> Play FIFA yeah, exactly. Minute. Yeah, a bit of FIFA and uh, yeah, <laughs> live the dreams of, of the guys who, uh, yeah, who unfortunately still at home now. Yeah, you should ask Rooney. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Time yeah well, we've seen Mourinho there, haven't he? Yeah, I was, I was yeah. getting a few tips off him, you know, and just to see how to play everyone and uh, what positions and all that. Yeah. I'm cool. The French really appreciate when you have a go. Yeah, they don't appreciate when you don't. They don't appreciate so much when you just speak English. As I think if you went to Australia and you just went and spoke French to someone, they probably wouldn't really understand or make sense much sense out of that either. So, no, I think if you're just having a go, you start with a bonjour and see how you go from there. Merci beaucoup. Voilà. Au revoir. Au revoir. À la prochaine. <laughs> Right, so yesterday's challenge was for me to give out feed bags in the feed zone and I knocked that off easily. So today's challenge has been set by Jonesy and uh, what it is is to try and trade some of the Orica Green Edge blood guitars for uh, food. So what I'm going for is I'm going for smoke. Right, they used to say that we there's uh, smoke, there's fire, but on the, line, the Tour de France race route, the saying goes where there's smoke, there's barbecues. So that's what we're going for. Alright, I think I've nailed it again here today. Um, we stopped random, we thought a bit of smoke up the road there. We had a Pretty good run in from up the road where we could see the smoke. Pulled over here and uh, we found some <laughs> dancing maniacs. <laughs> right, I've already negotiated a deal for the food and uh, <laughs> what you can do, what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe I wish I was these guys right now. Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. I can't stop myself from smiling. Yeah, you can't yeah. recognize them, can you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you asked me, who are you? And I said, Julian. Julian who? Julian Dean. Oh, oh, sorry, mate, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Are we okay guys? Are we okay? Two riders from Lotto. We have several riders from Lotto. Over there. See him? Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Great work, Shane. Great work, boys. That's super. It's unbelievable how hard they're riding here. They're, they're going five kilometers an hour faster than every other race. So we're... Yeah, that was it. That was stage four out of the way. But the big one's coming up tomorrow, stage five. Uh, the Parve section, it's going to be on, really. Uh, 
The mechanics are busy here, getting doing a few changes. Some of the guys are doing frame changes, a couple of guys are doing fork changes. Obviously different tyre changes, uh, tyre pressure. Uh, basically these, the whole five mechanics are going to be flat out tonight, ready to go. I think we're going to be flat out ready in the race tomorrow, but uh, anyway, why do run you down on that? Yeah, tomorrow is, it's, uh, it's going to be a special day because uh, the weather forecast is for rain. We haven't had a wet Paru base since 2002. Uh, this one's in July and we've got rain predicted. So I think there'll be probably about 150 guys tonight who won't be sleeping so well because uh, Paru Bay in the wet is a nightmare. So uh, I really do expect a battle of the, the classic specialists and there's only a handful of those guys and the rest of the guys will be trying to keep the GC leaders out of trouble. So it's going to be a very interesting day tomorrow indeed.